What's up everyone, Sixpenny here, and I'm back with another EA Sports PGA Tour Career Mode Series video, and Ryan Gamer has had an incredible season so far. We are now on a four tournament win streak, and looking to take that to five here in the Genesis Invitational at Riviera Country Club. So Riviera is always a tough golf course, so we gotta come ready to play, but if we play just like we did in the Phoenix Open, we can win this tournament. When you're on a win streak, you don't change anything, right? So Ryan Gamer's still rocking the same outfits because, hey, if, when you're winning, why would you change outfits? But despite that, Ryan did win new golf clubs in the seasonal online sim tournament, and I wanna show you all the new golf bag we are rocking for the Genesis Invitational. So here we go. Ryan Gamer is now rocking the custom master clubs that he got from the Seasonal Sim Tournament. These clubs are amazing. So we are rocking the full masters custom clubs, same club types, same specs, nothing has changed there. But look at these golf clubs and the golden classic putter here. Like we could score 50 under on this tournament, but let's go ahead and dive on in. Okay, so we are still on the max AI scoring difficulty as well. Still have final round pairing turned on. And on top of that, I also turned off the putting meter. So we will no longer have the putting meter. There'll be no meter on any shots now. Uh, so it's definitely gonna be a little bit tougher there. So let's go ahead and see if we can win five tournaments in the row here. Four to seven miles per hour win. Average course conditions should be very scorable here in round number one. As we take a look at the current leaderboard, five under right now, tied for first. We could do this. EA Sports and the PGA Tour proudly present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From historic Riviera Country Club in Pacific Palisades, we bring you opening round coverage of the Genesis Invitational. What might we have in store for us over the course of these next four days? We've got big names, we've got dark horses, we've got it all as we look at the leaderboard on this Thursday. We've currently got a tie at the top at five under par. Meanwhile, our featured golfer in good form coming into this one fresh off a of victory a week ago coming in fresh off a of victory four in a row actually a course that ryan gamer has historically struggled at in pga 2k21 and 2k23 in the career mode series on the channel i'm just gonna send a three hybrid off the first tee nothing too crazy here i don't think we need to be Look at those new golf clubs. Look at those new golf clubs. Let's go. If you all want to see that seasonal online round, I, yeah, I posted it on the channel last week. So be on the lookout for it. Right where you want to be. Okay, 242 yards left here. It's a tough shot. Let's take a look at the caddy book. 249 to the back, 218 to the front. I like the club, three hybrid, full loft. The wind's gonna take a little bit off and add a little bit more backspin as well. <laughs> Almost an Albi, so close, right, but yet so far. Offline. How about the chances for getting it up and down from that spot? Yeah, it's not in the thick stuff, Rich, so that's um, advantage number one. Really lies pretty good. Yeah, it lies really it's good. A standard pitch. Just, yeah, we're just going to flop this one in. Those wed, the gold wedges are so sick. Not much to this one. It's for birdie. Not the putting meter. It's going to be a big adjustment. Okay, a well-played hole there. It is birdie to kick off the round. Birdie, though, to start the day, you got to birdie that hole, though. Like, under par. It's a must birdie hole. Cheers, everybody. Get your coffee, whatever you're drinking. Cheers. That cup's all gone, but don't you worry. I got another one here. Always ready with coffee. Check the caddy book. We, that bunker is 375. We should be safe from that. 
But thank you all for all the support on this series so far. You all are legends. If you get some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. And you can check the full playlist down in the description if you're looking for more episodes in this series. It could be that, that the full one, be tournament shape. So following the birdie right here one, is already live. Drive here at the second. You never know. Or the full series at that. 177 uphill. Probably about... It's over 15 feet probably. Going to be going with 8 iron. Full loft. Getting pretty aggressive on this one. The wind is going to probably add about 7 yards. Not 7. Maybe 6 yards. Ryan, see if he can hit these new clubs. After four wins in a row, you know, most people wouldn't change clubs, but when you just win a nice custom master clubs, you use them. Didn't work out there. Well, had a good look at the green, but couldn't cash it in. Yeah, that wind sent it a lot more. Wondering what might have been. This is very chip inable here. We have 10 yards here. Pretty level green, it looks like to me. Always left to right. It's hard to see that. I think I'd be fairly pleased with that, Frank. What do you think? I certainly do. It was so, so good. Look at that putter. So awesome. <laughs> that finished off for par. You were the second. Yeah, I'll take a par any day on that golf hole. At one under par. Skins at the top, 600 through 65. Duncan right there close. Just got to send this one in the fairway. Going to do full loft. To let the wind carry it a little bit more. Honestly, Ryan might not use any right. other clubs now. Oh, what a bounce. Thank you, game, for that bounce. Uh, that got a fortunate bounce. Uh, it'll be just fine. So, after the fortunate kick, his second to the par four. 88 yards left down the hill. And, you know, it's one of those things. Jerry, Ryan's caddy, you know, trainer, he does a lot. Uh, but Jerry usually gives Ryan tons of caddy books leading into the tournament. But after the last tournament, Jerry was so impressed at Ryan's performance that he only gave him, like, one or two caddy books to study leading up to this tournament. So we'll see if, if Jerry gave him enough. <laughs> we'll find out quickly. Going to do no loft, actually. Actually, I'm going to do full loft because the wind's going to... Take off some of the spin anyways. Aim at about 83. That's perfect. Not perfect, no, but a not good shot. Bad. I thought good it would shot. spin back more. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really outside chance for Betty. Ball is below the feet. It says slightly. I don't see much of that, honestly. If anything, just steady left to right the whole way. It's off the slope a little bit. Could be pretty aggressive. Going to aim at about 21 feet and send it. Yes! Oh, yes. It's the new putter. Pace to get up that slope. It is in for a it birdie. Just, it, you know, when you, when you have nicer clubs, it just makes you feel better. Because, you know, the clubs are all cosmetic in this game, right? Besides the club specs. But like, sometimes when you they look cool and they make you play better. Cheers, everybody. What a putt. Been reading greens excellent lately. Two under through three. 243 down the slope. Probably about 25 feet or more. 224 to the front of the green. 251 to the back. So people have been asking, how do you look at the caddy book? If you're on Xbox controller, it's the menu button, the back button. I guess you would call the double. It has double squares on it. This button right here. If you're on PlayStation, it's the big middle button. Get it. Let me grab a PlayStation controller. It's this huge middle button right there. You just push that right there. On PC, if you're using mouse and key, if you're using keyboard, I don't even actually know if. I don't think this game has mouse and keyboard support that I know of. Let's go hybrid. How much to the front of the green? 224? Yeah, I'm going 9 hybrid. I'm going to show you all why I have hybrids in the bag. Ah, <laughs> maybe I should take it out. 
in that wind, that's almost an impossible shot, mm, right? Didn't play the wind Whole very loft, well there. But in that wind, you're not going to get a lot green. of backspin. It's just, it's hitting into a downslope green. That's going to hit and go, unfortunately. So never mind. Just don't use hybrids. I just love hybrids. It's it's a personal thing. Should I put a should I put a four iron in there? Probably. You know. I love hybrids. I really do. I think we actually flopped this. Beautiful. Ball is below the feet. Should be steady left to right. Okay. Good round so far. Finished off. It's a par here at four. Two under through and four. Duncan's at, at seven under through 14. I still can't believe the last tournament. Are you all still fired up about that? Like, best golf I have ever played in this game. Like, the whole tournament. First round was good, but rounds two, three, and four. 12 under in rounds two and three. And then 13 under in the final. I think we can send this. I tried to fast it to get a little more snap on it. Beautiful. Yeah, just what you want at this point in the round. You're trying to find a rhythm. Hit fairways. Hit the middle of the club face. That's what they did. This, right there. This golf hole always plays tough for me. I, there's something about it that always gets me. We're left with 81. Downhill slightly. Not much. Going to go full loft on the lob wedge. Aim at about 74. Felt that fast. That's on me. Got some good spin action back, but the fast and overswing is uh, why it's not right next safely to the hole. On the green and a birdie chance. We got a glimpse of that break there just by watching that ball. A points three degrees below. So it's to me it looks like a steady left to right. Very subtle. Not much break here. It might even be a double breaker at the end. No, it wasn't. Perfect oh, read right off the bat. Perfect on that one. It's in for birdie. Another birdie. Look at Duncan setting the bar high. Eight under through 15. Cheers for that birdie, everybody. Let's go. We got this. Just got to play the game, right? 191. Uphill. This is the hip. I find myself in that bunker way too many times. Let's not hit that bunker. Bunker is going to be named after Ryan in the future, probably. Do full loft on the seven iron here. Let the wind pull it over. That could be perfect. Too short. Not and enough that on one, it. Not on the green, but not in a terrible spot either. Sitting up in the short grass. That thing was so close to being perfect. And this is when Orion Gamer pulls out the Texas Wedge. Learn from the best Texas Wedge player ever to play. Some of you might not know this, but Jerry, his caddy, is known to be the best Texas Wedge player. Perhaps you all have probably heard of Jerry. Past. <laughs> 1.6 degrees, all above feet. Send it. Gonna aim quite a bit here. We're talking about probably 48, 20 feet past the hole. It might be too aggressive, but. Oh, uh, that swing plane was something. <laughs> okay, well, I think uh, you're ultimately going with the putter there. Probably a good decision. The Ryan's caddy, Jerry, is really shaking his head over there. Like, uh, where you better believe it. Looks like he's writing down in his caddy book this specific shot to practice at the end. I'm not sure what happened there. It's going to be right to left here. That swing plane was... Nicely read well, there. It is a par here at the And six. I misread it. It wasn't the swing plane where I missed it. But as a swing plane, we started fine. We went and then started back. It's only the beginning and end point that matter in swing plane. Anything in between doesn't matter. We got, oh, we hit the tree. Wow, I did, we hit that tree. Did not see that one coming. 
Somehow that ball went through the trees. Actually, it didn't scrub too much speed off it. It's going to yeah, be all right. Yeah, you know, Ryan's pretty strong. Up. Let's bring in Iona Steven. Yeah, he's looking at 116 yards to the front of the green. 133 the number, all the way to the flagstick. I own a Pin 113 in the middle, to throw. So it's a green light. What's a green light? Pin is in the middle, 133. It's uphill quite a bit. Probably looking at, let's go with 16 feet, 15 feet, and affected about five yards. I'm gonna do full loft. I think this wind is going to affect this more than I think. Probably going to have to go up to the 9 iron. This might be too much. Oh, this could be good. I was trying to take some off on the swing. Perfectly calculated. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, you know, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach. Well, shot. get your tape measure out. 1.5 degrees, a ball above the feet, steady right to left. Gonna get pretty aggressive here on this putt. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, runs that one right in. It's a birdie here at the seventh. We gotta get to nine. Duncan is playing some great golf. Nine under through 17. Cheers for that, that putt, everybody. We're playing good. Like, this is a great round of golf. Four under through eight. Let's keep it up. Right side or left fairway? I think we're going right first round. We may change our mind later on. But for now, we're going right. Beautiful. The worst the thing for me is, is when I miss there. the fairway on this hole. Wonderful tee shot. Yeah, Done it a lot in 2K23. That is right where you want to be. 132 up the slope. Going to go full loft here. It's probably uphill about 15. So those of you wondering about elevation changes, I've been re receiving some questions for that. Uh, I've answered this, I've said it in, a, in some videos, uh, but elevation, whatever feet it shows uphill, divide that number by three, and that's around how many yards it's gonna affect it. If it's uphill, of course, it's gonna take yards off your shot. If it's downhill, it's gonna add those yards to the shot. Now, when you're playing true sim, you're not gonna have the exact number, so you're using your educated guess. I mean, if it's yellow, you know it's going to be more than like 15, 16. It's going to be up there 20. If it's red, it's going to be like in the 25, 30, 40, 50 range. Right? You'll see a lot of red at Wolf Creek. I'm going to aim at 145. See if this works. Honestly, a very similar shot to what we just had. We strike it, right? Beautiful. Yeah, it's almost the same shot we had That's in the a last good shot. hole. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation, so birdie chance. All is below the feet here. It's steady up the slope. To me, it looks like a little bit left to right, but can be aggressive here. Gonna aim at about 22 feet. And I don't think it's breaking much at all. Yes! yes, getting hot here just before the turn. That's birdies now. We at are on seven fire lately. Five under through eight. We are just crushing it. Let's go. The the putt rating has been really good lately. Like that's been that's been the big thing. You know, the only way we can make the difficulty harder, the only other setting would be to turn off green. Like we have gr we have green grid lines turned off. We can turn off the green grids completely, but I don't know. I don't really, I don't want to. I don't enjoy that as much. Honestly, I, I like to have, you know, the green grids on a little, like at least the lines. They don't tell you much anyways. <laughs> Better than nothing. And for your all's viewing experience as well. But personally, yeah, I, yeah I, what I want nice swing and the result is going to be a tee shot that is set up just fine. It's just the AI plays the good now at 100 in first round. They usually second. struggle in the rest. There's 137 yards to the flag pin front right. It's a sneaky one. Yeah, so this is probably uphill 25 feet or more being a red up arrow. I can affect it quite a bit. Uphill lie as well. Going to go with the finesse. Nine iron, full loft. Aim at about 53, I think, might be the club. Don't want to be short, though. That's the big thing here. It's 
smart overswing. I, I was going to overswing there because I was and scared of the bunker. on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knocker, like a four or five footer. So this first putt's going to have to be good. Steady right to left here. Ball is above the feet. You make this. There's a lot of break here. There's a lot of break. Under swing. That was the line. Not aligned correctly from the start because he never got that out far enough. That was the line. Just a tap in there for par at the ninth. And that is going to go in the books as a 30 on the front side. That's a Five great front nine. That is a great front nine. We are a few strokes off the lead here. Let's have a solid back nine. This back nine plays tough. Besides this first hole, we have to make a decision here. 306 yards. Do we send this? Yeah, we do. Easy answer, right? No power drive. Let's just send a drive. Hole loft. Bunker's not a bad place to play from here. I was going for an underswing as well. Yeah, that's not a bad shot, right? And so close to being perfect, with though. Disaster the whole way, and it's going to wind up hopping into the bunker. Going to go with the pick shot, full loft on this shot. So when I added loft, I forgot right, to change exactly my distance. What you're hoping for, but safe on that one. Putting surface with birdie still in I, I, I tend to do that quite a bit. I always forget the pick shot. You add a bunch of loft. Of course, it's going to take off a lot of distance, but I tend to forget on that shot in all my rounds. All is above the feet. Steady right to left. I blame Jerry the caddy, right? The caddy should nudge me and be like, hey, right? You added loft. Don't forget. Put this one in. What a putt. Nah, the pace absolutely perfect there. Down the slope. It's in for a birdie. We are reading these greens so well. Cheers, everybody. Let's par. go. Drinking Green a lot of coffee today. But, you know, just just sips. And it's, it's, it's extremely hot. I can't drink too much at a time. You all that binge watch my videos are like, wow, he drinks a lot. You know, a little sip here and there. Send it. Swing there. Fast hits. We kind of cancel each other out a little Thursday bit. And that another fine effort off the tee. A 279 up the slope quite a bit. How much to the front of the green? 272. We can't get there. This is when you need a longer hitting three three wood in the bag <laughs> for shots like this. I think we might end up actually replacing the three hybrid for three wood for longer distance. Maybe a two iron. Has to be thrilled with that second shot here to the par five. Frank got everything out of that. Yeah, did well just to advance the ball so far down the fairway. And now a fairly straightforward third shot. Straightforward and my favorite shot type. We get to hit the spinner shot here. Aim at about 28, get very aggressive. Under swing. Still a good shot though. Now this for another birdie. Didn't really see much of the break there. I want to say it looks a little bit right to left. Ball is above the feet. I'm going to get very aggressive on this line, though. Oh, yeah. Good thing Jerry yes, put magnets in the cups. Side, back Thanks for that, Jerry. Here at 10, we are Andy seven Levin. under. Two He's off the lead here. Seven under now. Two shots off the lead. On the 12th hole, we got seven holes remaining. Sitting seven under. So this is when... We probably pull out a fade. You don't, I rarely ever draw and fade, honestly. But we're, we're going to fade on this one. Been working on the shot. We'll, we'll see if we've proved it. But if not, it's okay. We're going to try it anyways. We finally did it. We finally did it. Beautiful. Because the starting at any point is all that matters, right? And that was... Pretty solid starting end no of point. That ball could have gone through the tree, but somehow it did. It's finished up actually all right. It's just never been my play style. I never in golf games. I just don't draw and fade a lot. 
I barely ever do it in 2K23 as well, and that has the normal swing. I just, it's not my play style. 162, down the slope, full loft on it. And then, can I aim at about 47? How much do we have to the green? 130, plenty of green to work with. Hold. Yeah, that wind needed to take a bit more off of that. Frank landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. My voice is feeling like, uh, has been feeling like it's going to like go out. I don't know if you all have ever felt like that feeling when it feels like it's going to go out. So if my voice sounds different. That's why I'm trying to drink more coffee to... It might not sound any different to you all, but it feels like it's about to go out, honestly. Ship this in though. Maybe we should have Texas wedge that are the a shots huge underswing. You'd like to be a leisurely stroll out on the golf course into a day of hard work. Yeah, what could have been a tap in is now going to be a grind. Look at the fans on their phone recording the video. <laughs> but what they're recording, it looks like a black screen there. Send this in. Steady left to right. Yep. No missteps there. It is a par here at 12. We're locked in on these greens. Stay at seven under. We are actually dialed in. Six holes remaining here at number 13. We just send this one. Don't need to really get fancy. We're loft. Stay in the fairway. That's unfortunate. Just barely yeah, rode into the, the rough. rough. But that was absolutely crushed. Not in the fairway, but not a real problem here at the 13th. Getting set to play his second shot. 102 to the front, 144 to the back. Going to go full loft on this 50 degree wedge. It's down downhill slightly. Go at about. What the trouble is the lie. I want to aim at about 115, but it's 90 to 99 percent. That is a huge difference. Going to aim at 115 though. I like the looks of this one. Go in. Oh, yes. Uh, it's been a beautiful round of golf uh, today. It's been a clinic with the irons and well, more evidence there. The swing, the strike, and look how close that, that is. That is how you play it. It's going to be just it, a little bit left to right. Not doesn't look like a lot of break. Beautiful. Mm, confidently done there. That's in for when you're here on, at 13. You're on. Let's and keep it up. Continue the crawl up the leaderboard. Cheers, he's everybody. Eight under now. One shot back. You all ready for an ace? 181 down the slope. Silence the fans a little bit. Dress the ball here. 173 to the front. 193 to the back. You all realize that Ryan has not hit a fan in a long time. You know, he hit like 15 fans in the U.S. Open. <laughs> he's, he's really changed his ways after the PGA gave him a warning. Gonna do the full 170. No, let's less than that. Let's aim at like 165. Full loft. Get up, get up. Just gorgeous. Oh, nicely done, and that'll be a great birdie chance here at 14. Chance now for another birdie. That's the importance of the eye test, everybody. I always, like, you can have your initial read, right? But don't forget to really think about it and get a feel. If it doesn't feel right in your gut, when you're doing the eye test, change it. Just like I did there. I was like, this ball is going to fly further than I think. Made the correction. Here we are with a great chance at birdie here from 12 feet. 0.8 degrees, ball below the feet here. It's going to be a steady left to right, it looks like to me. Y'all see the how the putter, like all the putters in the game, sometimes go through the balls in the pre-shot setup. So close. Got it there, but not quite on target. So I'm glad Ryan Gamer knows how to phase the putter through the ball so that he's not accidentally hitting the ball in the pre-shot setup. <laughs> so close to making that good read. No issues there. It is a par here at 14. 
Good read. And he's going to remain at 800. Second place. Duncan right there. Hatton in third. We have four holes remaining here. We might pull out the fade shot again. Just a little bit of a fade. Don't need to do much of one. Not the greatest start, but it should still be fine. I've been working on them a lot. I really have. Like, I definitely feel more confident with them, but I still don't draw and fade. I just, it's not, I just barely ever do yeah, it. Too strong for this hole, eh? Run out of fairway and into the rock. Barely ever do Big it in real point. life on purpose. <laughs> but yeah, I never really do it in real life. 156, downhill slightly. 89, 98% lie. Gonna be hitting this nine iron. This is such a difficult shot. Pin location there in the mid left side. This is a really high level, high difficulty level shot. Won't be able to generate a lot of spin from the rough either. We will take it. That's a good golf shot. And a good approach shot. Just not quite as close as what you'd like, but still solid. An all outside look here for birdie. All is above the feet. Steady right to left. Up the slope, going to aim at about 28 feet. Couple cup links outside. One time. That, okay, misread the beginning. That mm, beginning that broke a mile. Line. That'll drift a couple feet by. Was not expecting that much break there at the foot line, but hey, you live and you learn, right? That's golf. Okay, a solid par here at the 15th. Oh, I love this game. It's just right so fun to play. Duncan at the top. We are one stroke back. Three holes left here in round number one. And Ryan do what he, actually, if y'all remember, he had a, he was down by four in the Phoenix Open going into round number two and then dominated for the rest of the course. 167 down the slope. I'm going to do full loft on the nine iron. Aim at about 154. I like this club. Looking good. Looking really good. I mean, this is a clinic in how to play the game. Just keep everything whole high. Give yourself a look for birdie, and that's what it'll have. Y'all hear that? Up. A clinic on that how to play the game. For another birdie. One point, one degrees, ball above feet. It's a steady right to left. Not much movement here at all. Up the slope can be pretty aggressive. For another birdie. A share of the lead. Yes. Ah, uh, that a pure roll there. What a round. That is down for a birdie here at 16. Let's go. Cheers, everybody. If you have any coffee left. Some great golf. I'm sending this ball. Power, power drive right into the wind. Good over power there. 2.7. It's trying to fast it instead of slow it, but... Right along. Another good tee shot right there. I don't think we can get it. Yeah, we can't get Still it there either way. Three bills away as he puts forth his second to the par five. Such a tough golf hole. Hold. I I thought that was going to hold. It's so hard to, you know, oh, you can see the caddy book, right? But it's so hard to tell of the green. Exactly where you're aiming there. Good. I'm gonna go for the pick shot. Full loft, and Jerry has reminded Ryan to make sure change the distance. Well up the hill here. Gonna make sure we don't land this short. That's gorgeous. Jerry is a proud caddy and coach on that one. Gonna be slight left to right, it looks like not much movement. There we go. Yeah, that's good putt. A birdie here at one. And he's going to surge under. into the lead here on, on day one. Fire. Only like, the 18th left to play. That's another. So in the past four rounds, 12 under, 12 under, 13 under, and now we're 10 under. Going into the 18th here in, in the lead. A hole that I bogeyed a lot in PGA 2K23. You got this, Ryan. 
Play your game. It's the new clubs. I'm telling you. These new clubs just bring the best out of me, especially with the putter. <laughs> it's something about that gold, gold Masters classic that putter. Swing, and this is going to wind up squarely in the fairway. It makes Ryan feels like he's on the putt-putt course, you know, as a kid. He'll be factoring in this breeze in his face as he sets for a second. 146 to the front, 177 to the back, pin right in the middle, basically. 166, quite a bit of wind here. Uphill, probably about 20 feet. Gonna add about seven yards to the elevation. 73. And more because of the wind. I'm gonna aim at about 80 to play it safe. Full loft. We'll take it. Beautiful. No, that's not too bad. Good shot. Inside 20 feet, I would imagine. So a good chance, really an outside chance. One them. thing I hope for this tournament is the AI always plays good the first round, right? In these in these tournaments. Then they they kind of slow down there in two, three, and four. I hope that Duncan plays the same way or better all four rounds. But let's send this birdie in to finish minus eleven. Ball is above the feet. Steady downhill just a little bit. There's a lot of break here, though. Mm, boy, that's a good stroke. Such a good Just putt. A fraction off target, but you can't get the speed any better than that. Such a good putt. Hey, that is 10 under at Riviera. Let's go. What a round of golf. Four incredible rounds of golf for Ryan in a row in this career mode series. Let's go. So he'll finish up there. It's a par here at 18. Our featured golfer oh. right there after day one. Sitting Brendan in a tie Tide. Atop the leaderboard. Everything to play for these next three rounds. I mean, you couldn't really set up a leaderboard better than this today. Brendan Tide tying Ryan Gamer. 10 under to 10 under. We shot five under on the front, five under on the back. So if you all remember back in the Phoenix Open, Ryan was down four going into round two. It... it started a fire in his game and he dominated round two three and four but now we're tied for the lead does that extra pressure change anything and one thing that i hope as we take a look at this leaderboard is that brendan todd plays incredible golf and tyler duncan 10 9 the rest of the tournament it is if it does it's going to be a battle all the way through a 61 on the scorecard for ryan gamer an incredible round of golf wow Thank you all so much for watching this video to the end and for all the support on this series, all the one times, positive, encouraging comments here on the YouTube videos. You all are legends. If you got some enjoyment, drop a like. It really helps the channel. Subscribe for more. You can check the full playlist in the description to see if there's other videos live in the series. And also, Ryan is a multi-sport athlete on the channel. Five ongoing career modes going on at the same time. Check them out. There is tons of Riot Gamer content, and he's dominating in the world of It Will Be The Show 23 for the Oakland A's, and NBA 2K23 for the Bucks, WWE 2K23, EA Sports PGA Tour, and PGA 2K23, all ongoing series. I will see you in the next one. As always, have a fantastic day, everybody.